After more than two years of slump in passenger travel, air traffic is slowly and steadily getting back on its feet, and this is quite evident from numerous flight delays, cancellation, and the current unprecedented traffic at airports worldwide. Most of the problems of delays, increased flight times, heavy air traffic controller workload can be attributed to a lack of capacity in air traffic. In 2022, a bunch of new airlines have started their operations and existing airlines are expanding their operations along with numerous airports under construction. The future looks bright for Indian aviation industry. I have faced delays in my training due to COVID and due to few mistakes which I made because I wasn't aware about the rules and regulations. So to avoid any of these mistakes which I made, I will guide you all about the steps you need to take in sequence to become a pilot in the shortest time possible. Let's start with the number one thing which is your class 2 medicals. A class 2 medical is the preliminary medical assessment required by all aspiring pilots to get their private pilot license issued. The class 2 medical assessment is mandated before anyone can apply for a class 1 medical assessment. Only if someone clears the test mentioned under the class 2 medical examination, he or she can apply for class 1 medical examination. To apply for class 2 medical, candidates can go to DGCA's website and select the list of DGCA Amphenil class 2 medical examiners. Link is in the description. Upon selection, an appointment needs to be fixed with the examiner. On the date of medical examination, you will be asked by the medical examiner about any pre-existing medical conditions. This is followed by a color blindness test, BMI test and a general health checkup. The next step is class 1 medical. Class 1 medical is the final stage of pilot medicals in India. Only after successful verification of class 2 medical records and issuance of a PMR number, candidates are allowed to apply for class 1 medical examination. A class 1 medical certificate is mandatory for issuance of a commercial pilot license in India. The initial DGCA class 1 medical examination can only be carried out at Air Force Medical Examination Centers or one of the two private hospitals mentioned on DGCA's website. Moving on to the next step, which is ground classes. A good foundation is pivotal while raising a tall building. Likewise, before you head start your commercial pilot training, a thorough knowledge of all CPL subjects is mandatory. This is where the ground classes comes in handy. DCA mandates a candidate should pass all the subject papers along with getting their 200 flying hours before issuing a commercial pilot license. The respective subjects are Air Regulation, Aviation Meteorology, Technical General, Technical Specific, Air Navigation and Radio Telephony. I have done my DCA ground class from CNTA and was able to clear all the three papers within 30 days in my very first attempt. I highly recommend it. For more details, check out the link in the description. The best time to join a ground school would be after your 12th exam if you wish to pursue pilot career right after your 12th. So right after your 12th exam, as you will be in the flow of studying, you can enroll in a DSA ground school, apply for class 2 medical side by side. It would take a month to receive your class 2 medical assessment. Till then, you can start studying for DSA exams and apply for computer number once you get your 12th results, which is the next step of the process. A computer number is a unique identification number for pilots required by DCA and issued by Central Examination Organization. From applying for your DCA CPL papers to getting your commercial pilot's license issued, a computer number is required in every step. To apply for the allotment of a computer number, along with several other documents, a board verification certificate is needed. It generally takes one to two months to get your computer number issued, so keep in mind the time factor required, apply well ahead. You would need 10th and 12th board verification to apply for computer number. The board verification certificate is a certificate issued by education board stating that the marks mentioned in your mark sheet are correct and not doctored in any manner. This process is different for different boards. For CBSE, it's a hassle-free and the board verification certificate is readily available online. Please refer to your individual education board's website for further details on how to apply for a board verification certificate. The next step is selecting a flight school for pilot training. This is one of the most important decisions of your pilot career, whether to do pilot training from India or abroad. If you ask me, I would say do it from abroad, specifically from Florida, America. 
Why do I say that with full confidence? It's because I have done my training from Florida, USA, and it's a hub of pilot training with best infrastructure and pilot training. If money is your constraint, you can do your flying from India, but I personally feel training from US would be the best option because they provide the best quality of training. Now, the cost difference between flying in India and flying in US is almost the same. The only difference between the flight training is that the cost of accommodation and the flight tickets visa will cost you additionally 5 to 10 lakh rupees more as compared to India. So if you think you can manage that much difference, then I would definitely recommend you to train in the US. Though my personal biased opinion is flying from US, but flying from India is not a bad option either. With all these things said, there are many flight schools who operate shady business and can eat up all your money. To avoid that, you can sign up for a consultation call with me. I'll be happy to guide. You can follow my journey on Instagram and reach out to me in case you have any questions. At the end, the decision whether to become a pilot or not is yours. But if you decide to become a pilot, I would be happy to help. So once you get your CPL, then you can apply for the airline vacancies. For that, you need to prepare for the airline interviews. Shortly, I'll be coming up with a video for the same. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.